you want to open up your image, go over to your Layers Toolbox, right click on your layer, and click Scale Layer. Now you're going to want to add about 300 or 400 pixels. It really just depends on your image. I'm going to add 300 pixels, so it's going to make mine up to 1500 for the width. And then push scale. Now you'll notice that the image is smaller than the canvas. So you're going to go to image, fit canvas to layers. And now you're going to want to go up and select the rectangle select tool. And you're going to want to go from the corners all the way down to just above her nose tip. Now you're going to right click on where you selected and then go to select, invert, and push delete on your keyboard. Now you're going to open another image, the same image. And grab your select tool once again. And you're going to want to go from her nose tip down. Once again, click inside the box, go down to select, and click invert, delete. Now we're going to go back to our other picture that we started with. Click inside the box, go down to select, and click invert. Now grab your perspective tool, and you're going to want to bring the outer, or I'm sorry, the down, the bottom corners in. And the upper corners out. After you're done, push transform. You're going to go over to your layers toolbox and you'll see a little anchor at the very bottom. Go ahead and push that. Now you're going to go back to your other picture. Grab your, your rectangle select tool. Click inside the picture. Go down to select. Click invert. Then you're going to right click again, edit, copy. Then once again go back to your other picture and push edit, paste in two, grab your move tool and align it with her nose. Now grab your perspective tool once again and you're going to want to bring the bottom corners in. and the top corners in. You're going to want to try and match this as much as you can on the sides of her face. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the less or the more matched up it is, the less work you have to do. Go ahead and click transform. Grab your move tool again and move it up a little. Now come back over to your layers toolbox. Click the anchor tool. Now grab your zoom tool and zoom in. You'll see these lines on our face. We're going to need to get rid of those. So what you're going to want to do is grab your smudge tool. Select a fuzzy brush and go down here to rate and you're going to want to put the rate down to 20 
make your brush a little bit larger and just start going all over her face with the smudge brush Okay, now once you're done with that, you're going to go over and grab your clone tool. Make it a little bit bigger. And we're going to want to clone where you can see that the hair goes into two different parts. So push control on your keyboard and press down. Just start covering up. You're going to have to keep switching the spots. I recommend doing where you're working above so it matches okay now you'll notice that her eyes are a little bit crooked they're not like even so we're gonna go ahead and grab our rotate tool and we're just gonna make make them so they line up And push rotate. Now we're going to make her eyes bigger and her nose smaller. So I'll go up to filters, distorts, eye warp, and you're going to want to select grow. And then in the middle of the eye, you're just going to keep clicking until you get the size that you want. Do the same amount of clicks on the other eye. And then you're going to want to choose the shrink tool. You're going to shrink her nose in. And select OK. Now you're going to go back to your other image that we had open earlier, select none, then grab your rectangle select tool and you're going to want to select around her mouth go up to edit, copy, go back to your other image edit, paste into, grab your move tool and bring it over her mouth and then you're going to want to select the scale tool over in your toolbox and make her lips a little bit smaller and you may have to move it again so that's okay push the scale and then I'm going to grab my move tool again and move it Now grab your eraser and start erasing around her mouth. Okay, if you start erasing her lips, that's okay. You can just go ahead and go over your layers toolbox, click the anchor tool. Once again, grab your smudge tool and start smudging.
zoom out. And if you notice, you'll still be able to see the lines right here. You're going to grab your color picker tool, click somewhere on the image, grab your brush tool, and just start painting over it. Now zoom out, and we're going to crop the picture. So grab your select tool, your rectangle select tool. And we're just going to crop it to about here. Go up to image, crop to selection, and we're just going to fill in the rest of the spaces. Grab your brush, fill in any cracks. Okay, now you're going to want to open up your texture. So go to File, Open, Texture. Open the wrong one. Go to Edit. Copy, go back to your image, edit, paste as new layer, now you're going to want to set your mode to grain merge and lower the opacity a little. And right click and flatten image and you're done.